Hey guys, it's me and this is I guess your first sneak peek of my Mina apartment. Um, Mina, Arkansas is really really cool. Um, it's tiny, like it's wee, but um, the upside of that I guess is that I've met about half the people in the town already and I've been here only two weeks. So uh, I put out my first paper uh, um, Thursday, which uh, as I'm filming it, it, this is today, you guys won't see this until Saturday, but um, it's it, it went well, it went okay. I didn't sleep a lot, but it's I think it turned out really well, and if you would like to see photos, go to my Budget Girl Facebook page, um, where there's also going to be some extra footage from this clip. So, September is apparently the month of challenges for the financial YouTube community. I've already heard about two and you've already heard me announce once that I was planning a sell stuff September uh, of stuff that I have just decided. Most of this I, I knew I wanted to get rid of since the beginning of the year, but I've just been too lazy to take pictures of everything and post it online or eBay and, and deal with all of that. And that's just a personal flaw because it's easy to do it just takes time and I haven't had a ton of time so I've decided for the sake of alliteration that I need to go ahead and sell some stuff in September and um, and also because I moved an entire box it's over there you can't see it about twice the size of this plus this one full of stuff across state lines that I needed to sell which is a little ridiculous so I wasn't able to sell it before I left but trying now. So uh, what I want you guys to do is maybe you have some stuff that you've been hanging on to for months or maybe even since the beginning of the year like me or maybe even longer that you've been meaning to sell but it's really just taking up space in your life wherein it could be cold hard cash towards your goals. So I'm going to try to sell all of this stuff here this month and all that money is going to go to my student loan debt that I make. So. Uh, I was also invited by uh, Greg and Riss and the former Mrs. Jones to participate in a No Spin September. So, and I and I always want to collaborate with them. They're so cool. But I will have to do a little bit of a caveat. I just moved less than two weeks ago as I'm filming this, and I haven't fully unpacked yet. I don't know everything that my apartment needs. So I do have a little envelope of money that I have budgeted for not really decorating my home but just getting it into the shape that I need it to be. I'm not going to go out and buy a whole bunch of new furnishings, that kind of stuff, but I might need picture hanging frames for when I put up my new gallery wall. Um, I'm going to use the stuff that I have that I decorated with in Hammond, but I need to make it work in this space and I may need a few odds or ends here or there. So I am only going to spend money out of that envelope. It has a hundred dollars in it, which sounds like a lot, but if you think about it, say I need new curtains because my last apartment had two windows. This apartment has 17 and um, maybe I can figure out something to do with that. Um, I did already buy some new curtain rods. I'm going to try to make some old curtains work in here. Um, there's, there's just a lot of finagling I have to do. Um, so I, I may need to spend just a little bit of money from that on this home. I'm going to try, how, though, um, to make most of those decisions, put them down on the list, and not spend until the end of the month. So unless it's like an immediate thing, I have the time to do this and I, and I need to go ahead and do it now, I'm going to try to make those um, purchases at the end of the month and then I'll be sure that I need them. Okay? But if something comes up, like for some reason my pot holders didn't get packed because I've been looking for them for a week um, and they're they're in limbo somewhere, I do really need some new hot pot, pot holders instead of using a bunch of folded over paper towels to get cookie pans out of the oven because, ow. Um, <laughs> so I will be doing a no spin sell stuff September and I hope you guys will pick a challenge. I know my friends over at Gazelle and Tents are doing one too. They're trying to save $100 in groceries this month. I thought about tacking that third challenge on as well, but that might be a little much. And I'm trying to give myself just a little bit of grace in my new place. Also, my grocery budget is $170, and I do not think I could get by on $70 for the month for food. 
So maybe I will try um, to spend a little bit less on groceries, but uh, I don't think I'm going to quantify that with a number right this second. But it'll be in my head. It'll be up in my head. So with all of these cool challenges going on, pick one, pick two, pick three. God bless you if you do that. And maybe make this month the one that you really crack down and see what you can do. Really see how to the wire you can get. Um, how serious can you get about this? And how much money can you develop extra to put towards your debt or your money goals? How cool would that if at the end of September, all of us were so much closer to where we want to be? Um, so I think between the no spend and me selling all of this stuff next to me, which I'll show you in a second, I'm going to get a little bit closer, especially since all my expenses are so much higher this month in August. I haven't written, um, reconciled my budget yet. I need to sit down and do that. It's probably going to be like a two and a half, three hour process. But, because uh, I, I know I've busted on eating out. I know I've busted on other stuff. Um, I'm just going to have to sit down and figure out where all my money went uh, because moving just scrambles your brain and especially doing alone I just that that was not something I could focus on um, I do know I did not go over budget for moving because I transferred two thousand dollars out of my emergency fund and put it in my bank account and that is not all gone yet so maybe I didn't do as bad as I thought I did but I certainly ate out a lot and I certainly um, spent more than I would have normally if I had not been moving so yeah tell me below if you are going to participate in any of these challenges um, and especially if you're going to do my sell stuff September what you're going to sell and how long it's been sitting around so I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I've had sitting around um, start over here I have a camera bag a um, these were really popular a little while ago this is a Polaroid uh, picture frame, digital picture frame. I have never ever set this up. I have never even opened it, I don't think. Um, it's just not really my style to have a digital picture frame. I don't even remember who gave it to me, but I think I've had this for years. Um, I have a DVD player uh, that I will probably be able to sell on Craigslist because I don't have a TV. I didn't have a TV in Louisiana either, so I've had this for at least two years. I have a um, airsoft gun. This is not a real gun, but this is a um, this is a CO2 pellet gun. And I tried listing this on eBay, but they do not sell sell this type of thing on eBay unless you have a license. So I'm gonna have to try to sell this on Craigslist. Um, I have this doggy backpack, which is too big for Rory. Um, when I went on a whim and decided that she needed her own little like emergency go bag. And then I realized how ridiculous that was. Um, and then I do still have some emergency stuff for her. But um, I'm not going to make her carry it on her back. Plus this is too big for her anyway. So she's, um, I tried it on her. But it's, other than that it's new. Uh, let's see. I have two pairs of shoes. Never worn. Um, I got them at a dirt cheap. Um, and they were $10 each. They're a good brand. They're Talbot's brand. Uh, but they hurt my feet when I tried to wear them, so um, I'm probably going to try to sell them together on eBay. Uh, I have a working Polaroid camera that does not have any film, a police radio, two camera lenses that I no longer use, um, a piece of McCoy pottery that I was given for the intent purpose from Beth. Um, she found it like a garage sale for 25 cents or something. And um, people collect McCoy pottery. So um, I might be able to sell this for a little bit of money online. And I also have a big box of DVD sets and um, language software and um, audiobooks that I got um, for a quarter each at the library book sale in Hammond and I bought these for the express express purpose of trying to flip them for a profit. I got a lot of books for myself there too uh, but 
these I picked up because I thought I might be able to make a little bit of money on them. I spent, I, I know, including the books that I got, I spent like seven or eight dollars. So even if I sell one of these things, I'll pretty much have made my money back. If you want to see exactly what is in this box, on my Budget Girl Facebook page, there is a video going over all of it and um, kind of more what I'm going to do with this, um, how to sell books and stuff like this online without having to pay out for shipping or um, list stuff individually. And some of this I may li list individually, some I may use some websites and scan the barcode and have uh, send them the stuff and have them sell it for me. So uh, more on that on my Budget Girl Facebook page. So that is the stuff that I'm going to try to sell this month and I figure I just need the motivation to actually sit down and do it and with the no spend parts um, you know I won't be tempted to go out I need something to do around home anyway and also I don't have any friends here I'm very lonely so I, I don't really need to go out anyway um, but you guys are my friends my internet friends and thank you all for your sweet comments um, wishing me well in my new town here so uh, Rory seems to be liking it a lot and um, my, I'll, I'll do a house tour eventually whenever I finish unpacking, which might be by Christmas. Uh, <laughs> I've been working a lot, guys. <laughs> but the paper I did turned out pretty good. Uh, my first paper this week, I think it turned out really well. Maybe I'll post a picture of that on my Budget Girl Facebook page. Go like my Budget Girl Facebook page. Alright, so this was a long and ridiculous video. Um, check out... Tell me below if you're going to do any of the challenges. Um, sign up for them. Take a chance. You know, be better. I'm very tired. All right. Um, like and subscribe. Don't, don't leave me, guys.